it's time to add some enemies. So our guy, he's got a good amount of uh, motion now, animated running and jumping and idling and all of that stuff. But he's lonely and there's nobody to interact with. So let's add an enemy for him. And why not start with a snail? Because everyone loves interacting with snails. So uh, to do that, we of course um, have our sprites all uh, in our folders. So let's access one of them through double clicking um, on the layout and getting a new object. And we're gonna go to Sprite. Okay, like I said before, remember the plus, now we can put our new object wherever that plus is. So let's put that there. And now we're going to import from a strip again. Okay, so our animation frame, which uh, window is down here. We're going to import frames from strip and we're going to choose the one that says snail because that's the guy we want. All right, let's open that. There are 17 uh, horizontal cells here. So uh, that's good. Let's import that. And now we got a bunch of snail pictures. Delete the basic, I mean the, uh, the first one, frame zero. And now here's all of our frames for the snail, which basically kind of look the same. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Uh, before we get more into that, actually, our animation, here we're going to set uh, the snail animation uh, is speed to 15. Okay, and then going back to our basic frame, remember there's all this extra white space which we don't want, so press the shift button and then the crop button up here and you get rid of that and now we have all of our snail animations much more nicely located inside that box and again we're going to go to our favorite annoying thing which is setting the origin down to the bottom so our snail doesn't appear half sort of submerged in our platforms and we're going to put the origin at the bottom we're going to apply the whole animation we're going to hope that it happened for nope uh, I ran it. okay so let's go back to zero once again applied whole animation okay so one two and three were good yeah four is good now five six four. I don't even know what's going on with this thing it's so weird so so weird maybe because we're having a show I don't know all right let's do this again applied whole animation okay 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 are done. 9, 8, 7, 6. Yes, good, finally. All right. Maybe it had to do with that window thing. I don't know. I don't know why that would work, but we'll see. Close that. Uh, let's rename this guy over here from Sprite to Snail. Uh, I like calling him Snail Enemy just because it's easier to see. <coughs> And, uh, oh, sorry, I almost forgot. We want to loop our animation. So go back into the properties of our snail enemy and hit loop. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, one of the things um, is we want our player to flash if he runs into the snail. Okay. Because it's, you know, it's a bad guy. So... Okay, it's got to hurt our guy. So what we're going to do is go to player. And they already have this nice built-in flash behavior. So we're just going to go to player. Okay, make sure it's highlighted. Uh, behaviors over here. And we're going to add a new behavior to our player object. Okay, this is not the player box. This is the player, just player object. Okay. And on the player object, we're going to click this one called flash. Make an object, temporary flash, alternating, becoming visible and invisible. Yes, that's what flash means. Okay, we're going to add that. All right. And we will link it with an event soon. Uh, probably now, actually. Why not? All right. <clears throat> so once we did that, go to event sheet. And we're back to our favorite events. And we're going to add another event for our player box. Okay, so now our player box, right, that's the thing that's basically the size of our player sprite here. 
um, when we're going to have this thing interacting with our snail now. So um, the player box event is going to be when it collides or on a collision with another object. Okay, here we go. Time to get some collisions down. So what is that other object? It is the snail enemy. And uh, all right. So remember last time we had been doing some sub events. We're going to need some sub events again. So in the case where our uh, player box is falling, okay. So that means that you know your guy is, has jumped from some height and is now falling. Um, that will be, let's see, platform is falling. Here is the motion. Okay, it doesn't matter from how high or from where anyway right now. We just want to know, is our player falling? And if they are falling, then we need to check some conditions. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually right-click on this condition here and uh, for the players falling. We're going to add another condition this time. Okay, so not only is the player going to be falling, but we want to look at the player box uh, Y value. Okay, so player box, don't forget, it's that purple one, not the coin graphic. <clears throat> so is that player box uh, Y value, which is the vertical value. If I can find that, there we go, compare Y, okay, the Y coordinate, I should say. Um, if this is less than, right here, less than, the snail enemy's Y value. So the way you check against the snail enemy or any object uh, and their own Y value or X value is you type in their name, do dot, and then Y right there. And it actually shows up. There you go. That's what we're doing. Okay. So... If the Y coordinate of our player is less than the Y coordinate of the snail enemy, okay, then he's actually going to destroy it. And remember, our Y axis in this game is sort of is backwards. So zero is at the top, and then as you get lower and lower and lower, then your Y value is actually increasing. I know that sounds really confusing, but um, that's basically the way that construct to set this up. Okay, so don't forget, the y-axis increases in number, in magnitude, as you go downwards in the game. All right, so again, our condition is if the player is falling and his y-value means he is actually higher than the snail, okay, then here's our action. The snail enemy is or will be destroyed. All right, so snail enemy destroyed is usually, oh, I thought it was at the bottom, but it's not. I must have passed it somewhere. Oh, there. I'm blind. Okay, destroy the object. There we go. <clears throat> All right, snail enemy is destroyed. Great. Okay, we're also actually going to add an action. <clears throat> To give our player a little jump once they've jumped on top of the snail enemy. Okay, so uh, the player box, remember that's the one dealing with motion here. Uh, we are going to set its vector. So its y vector. Uh, there we go. Set vector y. Okay, so that's its vertical motion. We're going to set it to negative 700. <clears throat> Remember, negative because your negative is, or going in the negative direction is going up in our case. And I wish it was less confusing than that, but it's just, that's the way to do it. Okay, so platform vector is negative 700. And now we, oh yeah, we also have to add an else statement. So if you are not actually higher than the snail. So right click right next to platform is falling right here. And no, I didn't even do it actually. Where do we want to click? This is annoying. Uh, oh, 
there. No? Uh, add else? Is else here? Yes. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, let me show you how to do that again. Because <clears throat> I have to remind myself. So what you have to do is right click in the margin right here. Okay? That's the player box. And then go to add. We're going to add an else statement. So else is like, if none of these two things happens, then what is supposed to happen? Okay. So it'll come up with a system else statement. So uh, else is what we're doing. And the action that we're going to do is that the player, okay, player object is going to flash. So since we added that behavior before, See, now we have flash as one of our options for action. Okay. And here's our flash parameters. Uh, we're just going to keep it the way it is. That sounds good. All right. And done. Okay. And now uh, let's see. Uh, let's save. We did a whole bunch of work there. And let's save to see what happens. So we got our guy. He's running. There's the snail, remember? And he runs into him. Ah, oh, flash, flash, flash. Ah. Oh. If he jumps on top, bam, he's dead. All right. Good work. We'll see you next time.